Hi, every month we release a list of four books that you should ideally read. So these are the four books that I feel you should read in the month of October. I mean, different books. The idea is to introduce some good books that maybe you can read. Now the four books that I talk about in month of October, one is My Life is Full by Indra Nooyi. It's an autobiography of Indra Nooyi. I think it's a good book to look at. One, sees a Indian who has done really wonders across in terms of the corporate ladder. So anyone who is looking at doing an MBA and working forward, I think it's a good book to look at how to be successful. She's already talked about uh, balance between work and family that also becomes important. And also learning for women in terms of how they can go ahead and be successful and take inspiration from her. It could help in the interview where you talk about your uh, a role model or someone on that, there may be information about her could really help. Second is Build to Last, an amazing book, okay, which is there. I'll, the third is King Fitler Chronicle, Think and Grow Rich. Let's look at each book as such. As I said about Indra Nui, she was the head of Fortune 50 company, PepsiCo, and did wonders in PepsiCo. She was almost throughout her life in PepsiCo and did real wonders out there. She was one of the first women of color an immigrant to run a Fortune 15 company. So a good thing to read about it. Definitely good. Okay. And if you can pick up the book and read, it will be great. Built to Last is about a company. Could be a little technical, but if you're really interested in companies and knowing about it, it's an amazing read where they talk about how companies can build to last, how companies can be made such a way that they can last. Because there's some companies which are there for a long period of time, survived throughout the period. Some, most of the companies start and close down. But if you look at a lot of companies have remained, okay, Johnson, Johnson, and a lot of examples, the top company examples that are mentioned out here, could be quite relevant in terms of understanding how the corporate works, right? So person doing management, maybe this is a good book to pick up and read to understand how companies work. This is a fantasy novel. Since I'm more interested in fantasy, this is one of the known fantasy novels that have come in as such. A trilogy, King Fisher Chronicle, like Lord of the Rings. Only two books are released, but it's a good book. I'm, this is my current book I'm reading right now, The Name of the Wind, the first book of the series. So I think it's a good book to read. The way it is presented, the way it is gone about in third person and then in the first person. I think it's a good book which, you know, puts it initially could be a little bored. But as in when you read in the first 50, 100 pages, you really start getting interested in the whole storyline. I think it's a good book that you can pick up and read. If you're really interested in fantasy, one of the good books to read. Think and Grow Rich is a self-help book, but it is, remember it's published, it was there in 1937. That means the book has been there for a long period of time. I've read the book, amazing book. I mean, this is the one book I mentioned that I would read it again. I have not come to read it a second time, but it's an amazing book, definitely. Good reading, good learning in terms of how you can build your thinking ability. It doesn't talk about your daily normal routine. It mainly talks about how successful people went about building their own career in terms of becoming rich and so on. So good book to understand and read. If you're really interested in self-help books, one book that you should read and must read as far as possible. The books that you pick up will basically depend upon your interest. So if you're good at fantasy and you like fantasy, you can pick up a fantasy novel, self-help book, this, you want autobiography the first. So depending on your interest, you can pick up the book and read. And that is what will help you to prepare for your entrance. Remember reading and reading what you like is the most important part of preparation for MBA entrance. And if you can do that regularly, it will definitely help. Thank you.